So we're out in the shop today and uh, I got to build myself a new um, turbo downpipe adapter elbow for the S300. Um, I had to, this was originally supposed to be for somebody else, but due to time constraints, I wound up taking the one off of my truck and cutting it up and repurposing it for that application. So I'm going to build a new one for myself and I'm just going to walk you through how I did it because the last time I did it, I didn't really show that much about it. I just kind of said, here it is, it's done. So this time around, I'm going to kind of bring you step by step as far as how I do it. So the piece that we're starting with is three inch stainless. Uh, this is originally from a donut, similar to that guy there. Um, <clears throat> these can be purchased from like Summit and Jags and similar companies. Um, they're about a hundred bucks for a three inch one. Um, and uh, they're pretty handy to have because they're a much tighter bend than what a, uh, a regular piece of pipe would be. So like, for example, this is a regular piece of three inch pipe. Uh, here's an intake manifold I'm working on for my truck. And you can see, you can see how much tighter of a radius the, uh, the donut piece is. So the first thing we gotta do is weld this inside seam. Um, so we're gonna be using this old Millermatic 35. Power level's four. And wire adjustment for this, because we're not too worried about burning through. Oops, we'll go to like roughly 80. And uh, what I'm gonna do is rather than a bead, I'm gonna do a series of tacks kind of on top of each other almost for a, like a mock TIG effect. Uh, something like this to give you an idea. So, you get that burned in and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so we got our initial welds. You'll notice that the there's about an eighth inch or a quarter inch at the beginning and the end of the weld that I left open. Um, that's because one of these is gonna be the flange side one of them is gonna have a short piece of pipe before the downpipe side flange. And uh, not sure which is gonna be which yet, but just so that the flange doesn't have to slide over the weld, I leave a little bit of clean space there. So the next thing I gotta do is go and uh, just deburr um, both ends of these. So for that, I'll just be using a flap disc. All right, so I got the ends of it cleaned up and I'm just doing a kind of a test fit <clears throat> with the flange here. And, um, the object with this is to get as tight a relationship between the back of the turbo and the downpipe as possible. So you can see here that we've got maybe maybe an eighth of an inch of engagement with the flange in the elbow. And we're looking for a little bit more than that. And what that means, and this is even you know slamming it down on the table here, trying to get it to, to go a little bit more. And you do so at the risk of marring up the, the flange. But basically we're gonna have to uh, finesse this until we get the desired fitment between the, uh, the flange and the elbow. And as you can see, you know, where there's no weld, it's fine, but it, it hangs up on the weld a bit. So probably what I'll do there is take the flap disc and just grind that weld down a little bit flatter to begin. Well, the engagement's not quite as um, consistent as the previous one that I did, um, but I'm still pretty happy with it. Um, when we compare it to square, you can see we're a degree or two off, um, which for one, there's enough movement in the downpipe that that can be made up for. And two, the intermediate piece that's gonna go between here and the, the downpipe will also um, take up any slack. All right, so there's the turbo side flange welded on. See my tried and true method of tack welds to make it look kind of like TIG. And now, I'm gonna flip her around and weld as much of the inside as we can without compromising the flange surface. All right, so we got the uh, inside of the flange pretty well welded um, it's not necessary that this be done to hold the flange to the pipe because obviously there's plenty of weld on the outside um, this is more done 
this, I don't know, it seems like something that should be done. There's really no good reason for it. Um, we'll just take a, either a flap disc or some sandpaper or something just to clean up the flange surface. Remember that this is not a pressure flange, um, so it doesn't need to be perfect. It's not an intake flange. It does not need to hold boost or anything like that. Um, so, you know, there is margin for error. This is the downpipe flange. This is from Quadstar Tuning. This is custom made. Um, <clears throat> it's very similar, if not identical, to a 7.3 or a Duramax flange. The thing is, is you just can't get them anywhere because it's not a component that you can buy individually. Um, so John at Quadstar was nice enough to hook me up with that. <clears throat> so now you can kind of picture this. The turbo sits about there. And now we're going to have to have this intermediate piece that connects the two. And I'm not going to tell you how to do this because honestly it varies from one turbo to another. The whole reason that I have to build this new one for myself is because that part is different from one to the next. Otherwise, I would have been able to just make an exact copy of my own and ship it out. But because the housing on that other turbo application was different, it required that I change that intermediate piece. This is going to be the same no matter what. Because you know, you know, obviously the flange can twist so that there's no needing to orient the flange on the elbow and as long as you're reasonably close to perpendicular then you're good so i'm gonna cut the camera here for a couple minutes and i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cut my piece based on previous measurements all right so i got this intermediate piece cut and tacked and kind of adjusted to where i want it in my case the elbow has to have a slight lean to it and uh i'm just gonna go ahead and roll it out there it is, all welded out. It's uh, within about an eighth of an inch of my original measurements. And uh, you can see we got the flange welded as well as the intermediate piece. Welded the flange on the inside as well. So now the only thing to do is paint it and put it on the truck.